The Ottoman navy was established in the early 14th century. During its long existence it was involved in many conflicts, refer to the list of Ottoman sieges and landings and list of admirals in the Ottoman Empire for a brief chronology. The first Turkish naval fleet in Anatolia, which consisted of 33 sail ships and 17 oar ships, was formed at the port of Smyrna, Izma, by Chaka Bey in 1081. Following his conquest of Smyrna, Vla, Erla, Kaisos, Sesam, Fakia, Fosa, Antos, Skak, on the Aegean coast of Anatolia in that same year. Chaka Bay's fleet traded Lesbos, Middle in 1089 and Chios, Sax, in 1090, before defeating a Byzantine fleet near the Oinousis Islands, Koyon Adala, off Chios on 19 May 1090 which marked the first major naval victory of the Sultanate of Rum in a naval battle. In 1091 Chaka Bay's fleet traded the islands of Samos and Rhodes in the Aegean Sea, but was then defeated and driven out by the Byzantine admirals Constantine Dallasnos and John Dukas. In 1095 Chaka Bay's fleet raided the strategic port city and gulf of Adramitium, Edremit on the Aegean coast of Anatolia and the city of Abydos on the Dardanelles Strait. Seljuk Sultan of Rum allied in Kikabadai conquered Alaya, Alanya, and formed a naval arsenal there. Alanya became the home port of the Seljuk fleet in the Mediterranean Sea. Kikabadai later formed a fleet in the Black Sea based in Sinop, Sinop, which, under the command of Amir Chupan, conquered parts of the Crimean Peninsula and Sagdak on the Sea of Azov. 1220-1237 The conquest of the island of Kalalamo, Imral Island, in the Sea of Marmara in 1308 marked the first Ottoman naval victory. The Ottoman fleet made its first landings on Thrace in 1321. The first Ottoman fortress in Europe was built in 1351, and the Anatolian shores of the strategic Bosporus Strait near Constantinople in 1352 and both shores of the equally strategic Dardanelles Strait were conquered by the Ottoman fleet. In 1373 the first landings and conquests on the Aegean shores of Macedonia were made, which was followed by the first Ottoman siege of Thessaloniki. In 1374, the first Ottoman conquest of Thessaloniki and Macedonia were completed in 1387. Between 1387 and 1423 the Ottoman fleet contributed to the territorial expansions of the Ottoman Empire on the Balkan Peninsula and the Black Sea coasts of Anatolia. Following the first conquests of Venetian territories in Mora, the First Ottoman-Venetian War, 1423-1430, started. In the meantime, the Ottoman fleet continued to contribute to the expansion of the Ottoman Empire in the Aegean and Black Seas with the conquests of Snop, 1424, Isma, 1426, and the reconquest of Thessaloniki from the Venetians, 1430. Albania was reconquered by the Ottoman fleet with landings between 1448 and 1479. In 1453 the Ottoman fleet participated in the historic conquests of Constantinople, Goxida, Lemnos and Thassos. The conquest of the Duchy of Athens in Mora was completed between 1458 and 1460, followed by the conquest of the Empire of Trebizond and the Genoese colony of Amazra in 1461, which brought an end to the final vestiges of the Byzantine Empire. In 1462 the Ottoman fleet conquered the Genoese islands of the northern Aegean Sea including Lesbos. This was followed by the Ottoman-Venetian War of 1463-1479. In the following period the Ottoman fleet gained more territory in the Aegean Sea, and in 1475 set foot on Crimea on the northern shores of the Black Sea. Until 1499 this was followed by further expansion on the Black Sea coasts, such as the conquest of Georgia in 1479, and on the Balkan Peninsula such as the final reconquest of Albania in 1497, and the conquest of Montenegro in 1499. The loss of Venetian forts in Montenegro, near the strategic Castel Nuovo, triggered the Ottoman-Venetian War of 1499-1503, during which the Turkish fleet of Kemal Reis defeated the Venetian forces at the Battle of Zonchio, 1499, 
and the Battle of Modon, 1500 by 1503 the Ottoman fleet traded the northeastern Adriatic coasts of Italy, and completely captured the Venetian lands on Mora, the Ionian Sea coast and the southeastern Adriatic Sea coast. According to Kurtib Selabi a typical Ottoman fleet in the mid-17th century consisted of 46 vessels, 40 galleys and 6 mounas, whose crew was 15,800 men, roughly two-thirds, 10,500, rawsmen, and the remainder, 5,300, fighters. Starting from the conquest of Syria in 1516, the Ottoman fleet of Selimai started expanding the Ottoman territories towards the Levant and the Mediterranean coasts of North Africa. Between 1516 and 1517 Algeria was conquered from Spain by the forces of Ayus race who declared his allegiance to the Ottoman Empire, which was followed by the conquest of Egypt and the end of the Mameluk Empire in 1517. In 1522 the strategic island of Rhodes, then the seat of the Knights or Street John was conquered by the naval fleet of Kurtaglu Muslahidin Reis, Suleiman I let the knights leave the island, who relocated their base first to Sicily and later to Malta. In 1527 the Ottoman fleet participated in the conquest of Dalmatia, Croatia, Slavonia and Bosnia. In 1529 the Ottoman fleet under Salah Reis and Aden Reis destroyed the Spanish fleet of Rodrigo Portundo near the Isle of Formentera. This was followed by the first conquest of Tunisia from Spain and the reconquest of Mora by the fleet of Hayred in Barbarossa, whose fleet later conquered the islands belonging to the Duchy of Naxos in 1537. Afterwards, the Ottoman fleet laid siege on the Venetian island of Corfu and landed on the coasts of Calabria and Puglia, which forced the Republic of Venice and Habsburg Spain of Charles V to ask the Pope to create a holy league consisting of Spain, the Republic of Venice, the Republic of Genoa, the Papal States and the Knights of Malta. The joint fleet was commanded by Charles V's top admiral, Andrea Doria. The Holy League and the Ottoman fleet under the command of Hayred and Barbarossa met in September 1538 at the Battle of Preveza which is often considered the greatest Turkish naval victory in history. In 1543 the Ottoman fleet participated with French forces in the Siege of Nice, which at the time was part of the Duchy of Savoy. Afterwards, Francis I of France enabled the Ottoman fleet to overwinter in the French harbour of Toulon. This unique Ottoman occupation of Toulon allowed the Ottomans to attack Habsburg Spanish and Italian ports, enemies of France. They left Toulon in May 1544. Matrax Nasu, a 16th century Ottoman janissary, polymath and swordmaster, reportedly participated in the occupation of Toulon. In 1541, 1544, 1552 and 1555 the Spanish-Italian fleet of Charles V under the command of Andrea Doria were defeated in Algiers, Naples. Bonza and Piombino, respectively. In the meantime, the Ottoman Indian Ocean Fleet, based in Suez and Basra, defeated the Portuguese forces on several occasions near the Arabian Peninsula, conquering Aden and Yemen, 1538-1539, which were important Portuguese ports, along with Jeddah, Djibouti on the Red Sea coast. The Ottoman siege of De in 1538, which aimed to remove the Portuguese from India, failed to achieve this goal. Between 1547 and 1548, Yemen was reconquered from the Portuguese, while in the Persian Gulf and Arabian Sea, other important Portuguese ports such as Oman and Qatar were conquered in 1552. In 1565 the Sultanate of Asen Sumatra, Indonesia, declared allegiance to the Ottoman Empire and in 1569 the Ottoman fleet of Kurtaglu Hzrs sailed to new ports such as Dibal. Zurat, Janjira and finally set foot on Asa with a well-equipped fleet of 22 ships, which marked the easternmost Ottoman territorial expansion. The Ottoman naval victory at the Battle of Preveza in 1538 and the Battle of Jibba in 1560 ensured the Ottoman supremacy in the Mediterranean Sea for several decades, until the Ottomans suffered their first ever military defeat at the hands of the Europeans at the Battle of Lepanto. 1571, but the defeat at Lepanto, despite being much celebrated in Europe, was only a temporary setback, 
it could not reverse the Ottoman conquest of Cyprus, and within a year, the Ottomans built an equally large fleet, which in 1574 conquered Tunisia from Spain. This completed the Ottoman conquest of North Africa, following the operations of the Ottoman fleet under Turgut race which had earlier conquered Libya, 1551, and of the fleet under Salah race which had conquered the coasts of Morocco beyond the Strait of Gibraltar in 1553. Operations in the Atlantic Ocean Starting from the early 17th century, the Ottoman fleet began to venture into the Atlantic Ocean. Earlier, Kemal race had sailed to the Canary Islands in 1501 while the fleet of Murat Reis the Elder had captured lands Rotti of the Canary Islands in 1585. In 1617 the Ottoman fleet captured Madeira in the Atlantic Ocean, before aiding Sussex, Plymouth, Devon, Hartland Point, Cornwall and the other counties of Western England in August 1625. In 1627 Ottoman naval ships, accompanied by Barbary Corsors under the leadership of Murat Reis the Younger, captured the Isle of Lundy in the Bristol Channel, which served as the main base for Ottoman naval and privateering operations in the North Atlantic for the next five years. They raided the Shetland Islands, Faroe Islands, Denmark Norway, Iceland and Vestmanija. Between 1627 and 1631 the same Ottoman force also raided the coasts of Ireland and Sweden. Ottoman ships later appeared off the eastern coasts of North America particularly being sighted at the English colonies like Newfoundland and Virginia, before the Ottomans, the Seljuk Sultan of Rum, allied in Kikabadai, had formed a Black Sea fleet based in Snop, which, under the command of Amir Chupan, had conquered parts of the Crimean Peninsula and Sagdak on the Sea of Azov between 1220 and 1237. In the years following their conquest of Constantinople in 1453, the Ottoman Turks had dominated the Mediterranean with their fleets of galleys. In 1475, the Ottoman Sultan Memtu employed 380 galleys under the command of Gedek Ahmet Pasha, whose fleet conquered the Greek principality of Theodora together with the Genoese-administered Crimean port towns of Sambolo, Soldua, and Kaffa, Kif and Turkic languages. As a result of these conquests, starting from 1478, the Crimean Khanate became a vassal state and protectorate of the Ottoman Empire, which lasted until 1774. The failure of the Siege of Malta in 1565 and the victory of the Holy League navies over the Ottomans at the Battle of Lepanto in 1571 indicated that the pendulum was beginning to swing the other way, but the Black Sea was, for a time, regarded as a Turkish lake. For over a hundred years Ottoman naval supremacy in the Black Sea rested on three pillars. The Ottoman Turks controlled the Turkish Straits and the mouth of the Danube, none of the states in the region could muster an effective naval force, and the virtual absence of piracy on the Black Sea. However, after the 1550s, it was the start of frequent naval raids by Zaporozhian Cossacks that marked a major change in control of the Black Sea. The Cossacks' keyless rowing boats, called chakers, could accommodate up to 70 men and outfitted with cannonades. The boats made formidable sea vessels. They had the advantage over the Ottoman galleys in that being small, and low in the water, they were difficult to spot and highly maneuverable. In the early 1600s the Cossacks were able to assemble fleets of up to 300 such boats and send them to every corner of the Black Sea. They began attacking large towns such as Kaffa, Varna, Trabzon, and even the suburbs of Constantinople. Guillaume Levasseur de Plan, a French military engineer, provided a first-hand account of the Cossack operations and their tactics against the Turkish ships and towns on the Black Sea coast. The high point of the Cossack attacks came in 1637, when a large party of Zaporozhian and Don Cossacks laid siege to the fortress of Azov. After a two-month land and sea battle, the fortress was conquered by the Cossacks. Danube Fleet The size of the Danube Fleet in the late 17th century was 52 vessels, 4 galleots, 28 frigates and 20 flat-bottomed river boats, manned by 4,070 crew. In the rest of the 17th and 18th centuries, however, the operations of the Ottoman fleet were largely limited to the Mediterranean Sea, Black Sea, Red Sea, Persian Gulf and the Arabian Sea. 
The long-lasting Ottoman-Venetian War of 1645-1669 ended with Ottoman victory and the completion of the conquest of Crete, marking the empire's territorial zenith. In 1708 another long-lasting objective, the conquest of Oran, the final Spanish stronghold in Algeria, was accomplished. The 18th century was a period of stalemate for the Ottoman fleet with numerous victories matched by equally numerous defeats. Important Ottoman naval victories in this period included the reconquest of Moldavia and Azov from the Russians in 1711. The Ottoman-Venetian War of 1714-1718 saw the reconquest of Mora from the Venetians and the elimination of the last Venetian island strongholds in the Aegean. However, during the Russo-Turkish War of 1768-1774, the Ottoman fleet was destroyed in the Battle of Chesham, 1770. The next Russo-Turkish War, 1787-1792, again saw numerous naval defeats at the hands of the Russian Black Sea Fleet under Admiral Fyodor Yushakov. During the Greek War of Independence, 1821-1829, the Greek rebel navy consisting of converted merchant ships originally challenged Ottoman naval supremacy in the Aegean blockading Ottoman forts in the Moro and contributing to their capture by Greek land forces. Following the intervention of the Ottoman Ilia of Egypt in 1824, the far superior Ottoman Egyptian fleet under the command of Ibrahim Pasha gained the upper hand and successfully invaded Crete and the Moro until the arrival of the combined British-French-Russian fleets which destroyed most of the Ottoman Egyptian naval force at the Battle of Navarino in 1827. The 19th century saw further decline in Ottoman naval power, despite occasional recovery. Following the defeat against the combined British-French-Russian fleet at the Battle of Navarino in 1827, Sultan Mahmud II gave priority to develop a strong and modern Ottoman naval force. The first steamships of the Ottoman Navy were acquired in 1828. In 1829 the world's largest warship for many years, the 201 by 56 Gadem. 1 gadem equals 37.887 cm, or 76.15 m times 21.22 m, 249.8 feet times 69.6 feet, ship of the line Mahmud II, which had 128 cannons on three decks and carried 1,280 sailors on board, was built for the Ottoman Navy at the Imperial Naval Arsenal, Tursain Imir. On the Golden Horn in Constantinople, Gadem, which translates as foot, is often misinterpreted as equivalent in length to one imperial foot, hence the wrongly converted dimensions of 201 by 56 feet, or 62 by 17 meters in some sources. In 1875, during the reign of Sultan Abdulaziz, the Ottoman navy had 21 battleships and 173 other types of warships ranking as the third largest navy in the world after the British and French navies. But the vast size of the navy was too much of a burden for the collapsing Ottoman economy to sustain. Abdul Hamid II's fears of a coup and his suspicion of the reformist admirals, who supported Matt Pasha during the first constitutional era of 1876-1878, made things even worse and consequently almost the entire Ottoman fleet was kept locked inside the Golden Horn for three decades, until the Young Turk Revolution in 1908, during which the ships decayed. Abdul Hamid too often cited the poor performance of the navy during the Russo-Turkish War, 1877-1878, for justifying his decision of cutting naval spending and reducing the size of the active Ottoman fleet. Abdul Hamid II has often been blamed by Turkish historians for the long inactivity and decay of the Ottoman navy between 1878 and 1908. It has been suggested that the two Norden felt class submarines acquired by Abdul Hamid II himself, Abdul Hamid, 1886, and Abdul Mesid, 1887, could seldom leave the Golden Horn due to the Sultan's suspicions of a navy-based coup against him which eventually started to take place with a naval demonstration at the port of Salonik in 1908. In fact, despite his suspicions of the reformist admirals who supported the establishment of a constitutional monarchy, Abdul Hamid II was painfully aware that the empire needed a navy to shield herself from the ever-growing Russian threat. However, 
the Ottoman economic crisis of 1875 and the additional financial burden of the disastrous Russo-Turkish War, 1877-1878, deprived the Ottoman Empire from the financial resources and economic independence to maintain and modernize a large fleet. The second half of the 19th century was a period of breakthroughs in the field of naval engineering. The Ottoman navy was rapidly becoming obsolete and needed to replace all her warships once a decade to keep up with the pace in technological progress, which, given the dismal state of the economy, was clearly not an option. The aforementioned submarines were an attempt to gain an edge over the Greek navy, which had only one Nordenfeldt submarine, a smaller and older version. However, it was quickly realized that, like the other Nordenfeldt submarines ordered by Russia, they suffered from stability problems and were too easy to swamp on the surface. The Turks could not find a crew that was willing to serve on the primitive submarines. Abdul Hamid ended up rotting at dock, while Abdul Mesid was never fully completed. Following the Young Turk Revolution in 1908, the Committee of Union and Progress which effectively took control of the country sought to develop a strong Ottoman naval force. The poor condition of the fleet was evident during the Ottoman Naval Parade of 1910, and the Ottoman Navy Foundation was established in order to purchase new ships through public donations. Those who made donations received different types of medals according to the size of their contributions. In 1910, the Ottoman Navy purchased two pre-dreadnought battleships from Germany, SMS Weissenberg and her sister ship SMS Kurfürst Friedrich Wilhelm. These ships were renamed Durgat Race and Barbaros Hayreddin, respectively. The Italo-Turkish War of 1911-1912 and the Balkan Wars of 1912-13 were disastrous for the Ottoman Empire. In the former, the Italians managed to occupy Ottoman Tripolitania, present-day Libya, and the Dodecanese Islands in the Aegean Sea. In the latter, a smaller Greek fleet successfully engaged with Ottoman battleships at the naval skirmishes of Ali and Lemnos. The better condition of the Greek fleet in the Aegean Sea during the Balkan Wars led to the liberation of all Ottoman-held Aegean islands, other than those in the Italian-occupied Dodecanese. It also prevented Ottoman reinforcements and supplies to the land battles on the Balkan Peninsula where the Balkan League emerged victorious. The only Ottoman naval successes during the Balkan Wars were the raiding actions of the light cruiser Hamidai under the command of Rolfo Bey. In the aftermath of the Balkan Wars, the Ottomans remained engaged in a dispute over the sovereignty of the North Aegean Islands with Greece. A naval race ensued in 1913-1914 with the Ottoman government ordering large dreadnought battleships like Sultan Osmanovil, the largest dreadnought battleship ever built, and Risa Dai with the aforementioned public donations made to the Ottoman Navy Foundation. However, despite full payment for both battleships, and the arrival of the Turkish delegation to Britain for collecting them after the completion of their sea trials, they were confiscated by the United Kingdom at the outbreak of the First World War in August 1914 and renamed as HMS Ajinkor and HMS Erin. This caused considerable ill feeling towards Britain among the Ottoman public, and the German Empire took advantage of the situation by sending the battle cruiser SMS Goban and light cruiser SMS Brezel, which entered service in the Ottoman Navy as Yavuts Sultan Selim and Midili respectively. This event significantly contributed to the Portis' decision of entering the First World War on the side of the Central Powers. The British, French and Anzac fleets could not pass through the Dardanelles Strait, Sanak al -Bogaz, during the Battle of Gallipoli in 1915 thanks to the heavy Turkish fortifications lining the strait and mining by Turkish mine layers like Nusrit, and fierce fighting by the Turkish soldiers on land, sea and air who were well aware that they were resisting the capture of Istanbul and the occupation of their homeland. During the battle, Hayred in Barbarossa was sunk by the British submarine HMS E-11 on 8 August 1915. In the last year of World War I, while returning from a bombardment mission of the Allied port of Mudros on the Greek island of Lemnos, Middle ran into a minefield between Lemnos and Goxida on 20 January 1918 and sank after being severely damaged by five consecutive mine hits. During the mission, Middle together with Yavuts Sultan Selim, 
had managed to sink the British warships HMS Raglan and HMS M28, as well as a 2,000-ton transport ship, and had bombarded the port of Mudros, together with the communication posts and airfields of the Allies on the other parts of Lemnos. The battlecruiser Yavutz Sultan Selim was one of the most active Ottoman warships throughout the First World War. She bombarded numerous ports on the Black Sea and Aegean Sea, while engaging with Russian dreadnought battleships of the Imperatrice Maria class, and sinking a number of Russian and British warships and transport vessels. Following the end of World War I, the Ottoman navy was dissolved by the victorious allies and the large ships of the Ottoman fleet were towed to the Prince Islands in the Sea of Marmara under the control of Allied warships or locked inside the Golden Horn. Some of them were scrapped. After the independence of the Republic of Turkey in 1923, the remaining major warships of the former Ottoman fleet, such as the battlecruiser TCG Yavuz, the prey dreadnought battleship TCG Turgid Race, protected cruisers TCG Hamidai and TCG Masidai, light cruisers TCG Berkai Satvit and TCG Pekai Sevkit, destroyers TCG Samson, TCG Basra and TCG Tassets, and torpedo boats TCG Barak Race, TCG Kemal Race, TCG Isa Race and TCG Sags were overhauled, repaired and modernized, while new ships and submarines were acquired. Ottoman admirals like Kemal Race, who twice defeated the Venetian fleet did the First Battle of Lepanto in 1499 and the Second Battle of Lepanto in 1500. Hayred in Barbarossa who defeated the Holy League of Charles V under the command of Andrea Doria at the island of Pennon in 1531, Battle of Preveza in 1538 and Algiers in 1541, Turgut Race, known as Dragut in the West, who conquered Libya in 1551 and defeated the fleet of Charles V under the command of Andrea Doria at the Battle of Ponza in 1552. Pai Al Pasha who defeated the Holy League of Philip II under the command of Giovanni Andrea Doria at the Battle of Jabba in 1560, Araj who established the Ottoman presence in North Africa which lasted four centuries, Saleh Ace who conquered Morocco in 1553 and extended Ottoman territory into the Atlantic Ocean, Alius, KLS. Ali Reis who restored the Ottoman domination of the Mediterranean after the Third Battle of Lepanto in 1571 and conquered Tunisia from Spain in 1574, Murat Reis who fought the Portuguese at the Indian Ocean between 1552 and 1554 and captured lands Rotti of the Canary Islands in the Atlantic Ocean in 1585, Sadi Ali Reis, known as Sidi Ali Reis in the West who fought the Portuguese at the Indian Ocean in 1554 and is famous for his books of travel which are translated into many languages, Kurtugal Muslahidin race, known as Kurtugali in the West, who played an important role in the conquests of Egypt in 1517 and Rhodes in 1522, and established the Ottoman Indian Ocean fleet based in Suez which was later commanded by his son, Kurtugal HZR race. Who led the Ottoman naval expedition to Essay, 1568 to 1569, which marked the easternmost territorial expansion of the Ottoman Empire, and numerous others have all made it to the Hall of Fame of great mariners in history. The Ottoman admiral and cartographer Piri Reis crafted maps and books of navigation, including his first world map, 1513 which is one of the oldest surviving maps of America and possibly the oldest surviving map of Antarctica. The First World Map, 1513, and Second World Map, 1528, of Piri Reis are today preserved at the Library of Tropkap Palace in Istanbul. Other works of Piri Reis are preserved at the Naval Museum in Istanbul. The strategic Dardanelles Strait were conquered by the Ottoman fleet. In 1373 the first landings and conquests on the Aegean shores of Macedonia were made, which was followed by the first Ottoman siege of Thessaloniki. In 1374, the first Ottoman conquest of Thessaloniki and Macedonia were completed in 1387. 
Between 1387 and 1423 the Ottoman fleet contributed to the territorial expansions of the Ottoman Empire on the Balkan Peninsula and the Black Sea coasts of Anatolia. Following the first conquests of Venetian territories in Mora, the First Ottoman-Venetian War, 1423-1430, started. In the meantime, the Ottoman fleet continued to contribute to the expansion of the Ottoman Empire in the Aegean and Black Seas. With the conquests of Snop, 1424, Isma, 1426, and the reconquest of Thessaloniki from the Venetians, 1430. Albania was reconquered by the Ottoman fleet with landings between 1440. The Ottoman navy was established in the early 14th century. During its long existence, it was involved in many conflicts. Refer to the list of Ottoman sieges and landings and list of admirals in the Ottoman Empire for a brief chronology. The first Turkish naval fleet in Anatolia, which consisted of 33 sail ships and 17 oar ships, was formed at the port of Smyrna, Isma, by Chaka Bay in 1081, following his conquest of Smyrna, Vla, Erla, Kaisos, Sesam, Fakir, Fosa, Antos, Skak on the Aegean coast of Anatolia in that same year. Chaka Bay's fleet raided Lesbos, Medili, in 1089 and Chios, Sax, in 1090, before defeating a Byzantine fleet near the Oinousis Islands, Koyon Adala, off Chios on 19 May 1090, which marked the first major naval victory of the Sultanate of Rum in a naval battle. In 1091 Chaka Bay's fleet traded the islands of Samos and Rhodes in the Aegean Sea, but was then defeated he 8 and 1479. In 1453 the Ottoman fleet participated in the historic conquests of Constantinople, Goxida, Lemnos and Thassos. The conquest of the Duchy of Athens in Mora was completed between 1458 and 1460, followed by the conquest of the Empire of Trebizond and the Genoese colony of Amazra in 1461, which brought an end to the final vestiges of the Byzantine Empire. In 1462 the Ottoman fleet conquered the Genoese islands of the northern Aegean Sea including Lesbos. This was followed by the Ottoman-Venetian War of 1463-1479. In the following period the Ottoman fleet gained more territory in the Aegean Sea, and in 1475 set foot on Crimea on the northern shores of the Black Sea. Until 1499 this was followed by further expansion on the Black Sea coasts, such as the conquest of Georgia in 1479, and on the Balkan Peninsula such as the final reconquest of Albania in 1497, and the conquest of Montenegro in 1499. The loss of Venetian forts in Montenegro, near the strategic Castel Nuovo, triggered the Ottoman-Venetian War of 1499-1503, during which the Turkish fleet of Kemal Reis defeated the Venetian forces at the Battle of Zonchio, 1499, and the Battle of Modon. 1500. By 1503 the Ottoman fleet traded the northeastern Adriatic coasts of Italy, and completely captured the Venetian lands on Mora, the Ionian Sea coast and the southeastern Adriatic Sea coast. According to Kurtib Selabi a typical Ottoman fleet in the mid-17th century consisted of 46 vessels, 40 galleys and 6 monas, whose crew was 15,800 men. Roughly two thirds, 10,500, were oarsmen, and the remainder, 5,300, fighters. Starting from the conquest of Syria in 1516, the Ottoman fleet of Selimai started expanding the Ottoman territories towards the Levant and the Mediterranean coasts of North Africa. Between 1560 and driven out by the Byzantine admirals Constantine Dallasnos and John Dukas. In 1095 Chaka Bay's fleet raided the strategic port city and gulf of Adramitium, Edremit, on the Aegean coast of Anatolia and the city of Abydos on the Dardanelles Strait. Seljuk Sultan of Rum allied in Kikabadai conquered Alaya, Alanya, and formed a naval arsenal there. Alanya became the home port of the Seljuk fleet in the Mediterranean Sea. Kikabadai later formed a fleet in the Black Sea based in Sinuk, Snop, which, under the command of Amir Chupan, conquered parts of the Crimean Peninsula and Sagdak on the Sea of Azov. 
1220-1237. The conquest of the island of Kalalamo, Imral Island, in the Sea of Marmara in 1308 marked the first Ottoman naval victory. The Ottoman fleet made its first landings on Thrace in 1321. The first Ottoman fortress in Europe was built in 1351 and the Anatolian shores of the strategic Bosporus Strait near Constantinople in 1352, and both shores of the equator.